Okay, third time's a charm. Bear with me, folks. Still figuring this all out. going here in a second <clears throat> working on a he-man commission with a bunch of other dudes on there from the he-man universe A long day. A lot of dad action today. <sighs> Parenting is uh, awesome, but also extremely tiring. <laughs> <clears throat> so we'll get going on this He-Man commission here. I'm right now. I'm just working on filling in some of the big black areas just letting people know we're starting here Uh, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I cannot type on a phone. Uh, my fingertips feel too fat or something, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> Everybody's having a good day today. I did get a new camera. I hope it looks all right. Um, yeah, I'm still learning the ropes here with the live streaming, so bear with me, folks. point screwing around anymore. People will show up or they won't show up. I'm trying to just get more consistent. Uh, I do enjoy doing these uh, usually as long as people are nice. <laughs> First, we're going to do some circles. 
I use the old circle guide on the regular and I continue to bonk my uh, thingy here. All right. Uh, what was this guy's name? This guy's crazy. smaller than that I definitely watched team man a lot when I was a kid um, but I can't say that I ever went back to it much as an adult other than just seeing it in documentaries and shows or whatever but these characters are so wild looking they're so fun This guy's legs, so just pass this a little bit. A little bit more. And it will get shaky. There'll be a lot of erasing tonight, so hope nobody gets seasick. Looked good in the thumbnail, but once I drew it, I was like, I don't know. Uh, foreshortening is always tricky. You can get away with fudging it sometimes on, on some of these more wild characters, but... trying to do a kind of a upshot on a uh, on a figure the other day with some foreshortening on it and I was having a hard time and I was actually able to I was talking to Ryan none other than Ryan Stegman my collaborator on the schlub and um, he had some good advice for me he said that one of the more most important things when you do that stuff is, is like less about exactly putting the muscles where they're supposed to be than just having the different shapes overlap each other. And so I've been trying to think about that a little more when I'm doing this. So like, you know, these shapes like this overlapping the shape right behind it. I don't know. I try to take advice anywhere I can get it. You know, everybody's got some tricks up their sleeve. Sometimes with foreshortening too, it's like it's like there's the right the way to do it right and like that it's correct, and then there's the way that looks cool. So I'm looking for somewhere in there. I might even abandon this because I would rather be inky right now. Sometimes I'll leave a whole part of a body undone <laughs> until the very end because I just have not been wanting to work on it. It's not a good thing to do because then you end up painting yourself into a corner. But occasionally, that's just where I end up. You see, so the thumbnail is actually on the back here. I print it on the back and then trace onto the front. A trick I learned from uh, my friend Dave Acosta. See, it's kind of. There we go. That's kind of. I mean, that looks cool, but. C-Lab or something. 
I don't know, something that seems weird about it. I guess the knee needs to be pushed out here more. about where his foot would be. This one is here. So I drew it the other way and I just reversed it uh, to print it on the back. It's actually, it always looks weird to me when I see the drawing in reverse. I don't know why, but it looks, it just looks weird. Maybe it's like the way our eyes line up when you're looking at something, like your right eyes. You know, everyone's eyes are a little as, as, asymmetrical, you know? I had this uh, professor in college uh, who was really great. Uh, his name is Michael Ryan. Michael X Ryan, if you're looking, if you look him up, he's a pretty cool artist. Um, but anyway, he was telling me, how did he say it? He he said this to me one time. To, to I guess it was the class. He said something to the effect of, "You got to make like a lot of a lot of sh like really bad art <laughs> before." you're ever going to make a good thing, you know, and, and that's true even on every project, you know, as, as, as long as you're working, like for every one good drawing you, you make, you'll probably make a hundred bad drawings. And um, it's just a lot of trial and error and practice. And uh, I've definitely done a lot of bad drawings. Um, I think sometimes it seems like the stuff you see some artists do is kind of magical, and it sort of is, but at the same time, like, you know, I've always felt like it's a lot of work. Um, it's fun, but it's a lot of work. It's not, you don't, you don't just draw really good comics naturally, I don't think. I don't know anybody who does, really. A lot of times what I'll do is um, once I get in some of these basic shapes um, I actually get rid of the pencils pretty early on um, I just do another pass or two over this kind of rough pencils and then I have enough that um, I can erase all the pencil and still have the information I need to, to finish the inking and then I really that's when I really dig in is at that point and that's when I, all the fun details and stuff start coming out. I'm maybe in too much of a hurry to get to that point sometimes. But um, there's a couple reasons I do that. One is I just find it a lot easier to look at when it's in when it's inks on, on, on white without some of the extraneous lines that you've already sort of decided you're not going to use. 
And then the other is that, um, you know, if I plan ahead enough, I, I, this is true at least, you know, you can fill your blacks in without having to erase over them. So they just stay a little bit more black, um, which is nice. Makes it a little easier once you scan stuff in or if you're trying to sell originals and you want them to look nice. This Manny Faces guy, um, I, I really wanted to have this like his face sort of in mid spin, even though I know it's probably like you know most people probably would like to see one face. I don't know. I thought I thought it was more interesting the way his face spins around, so I wanted to figure out a way to draw that. Costumes again. Some of them I don't 100% remember from the sketch. There's some characters I can draw from memory. Uh, He Man characters are not one of them. <laughs> um, I can draw just about any of the 90s X Men from memory. Um, I can draw Sonic the Hedgehog or the Ninja Turtles. But uh, He-Man's just not one that I, I think I watched enough to internalize it that much, as much as I did some of that other stuff. It was also earlier in my life when this was popular. I think every artist, every comic book artist has their 10 to 20 characters that they could kind of do any day, any time. Um, whether it be their favorites or ones that they've worked on for a while. I'm trying to keep my head out of here. It's actually good for me. This is keeping my posture better while I work on the stream. So lately I've really been enjoying going in and, and putting in the big black areas early on in the process, kind of understanding where my light and dark and uh, kind of negative spaces are going to be. It's something I'm trying to improve on, so I try to make it one of the first things I do instead of saving it for last all the time, like I maybe used to do. Skeletor either. He's not uh, not there yet. I kind of wanted it to seem more like uh, like a ghostly image in like uh, the stars, so I might leave it pretty loose and do some uh, maybe effects work over it. So yeah, at this point. I, uh, I'm going to erase a bunch of this, um, which I don't know if that seems weird to some people. I don't really do finished pencils a lot either. Um, like what you saw before I was getting ink there is about as detailed as I'm ever going to get. And sometimes I will do this. I'll ink almost the entire foreground or, or background first um, before I do the other. Um, Sometimes it's a matter of just like, I really want the figures to work. They're more important than what's going on in the background. So if I need to adjust something to make them pop more, uh, I can save that for last. Or, you know, I have an idea of what I'm going to do, but maybe figuring out where the different shapes intersect and stuff. Uh, 
lot of people hate erasing. I don't understand why. It's awesome. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts. Everything kind of starts to pop out. You start to see some clarity. You get to start to see which decisions you made that were good and which ones were maybe not good. Um, but that's just the way I worked. I mean, if, if, if you have detailed pencils in front of you, it is probably annoying. It's just another step in the labor. But it's almost a reveal sometimes, even for me when I'm working on my own stuff. So. <clears throat> And I mean, I do have ideas about what I'm going to do in these areas, you know, like how I want to render the <clears throat> the metal <clears throat> or the, the flesh or whatever. And so, but, but I sort of already know what I'm going to do there. So it's a waste of my time to pencil it in there very detailed because it's something I can do just straight to ink. And I, you know, I've done it, you know, I know what I want close enough and I've got this the technique I like down. I would think if anything I probably do slightly more detailed pencils on some of my commissions <clears throat> just because I am trying to um, the finished piece has you know I, I'd like it to look somewhat clean and I mean it's still gonna look a little messy that's just my style but somewhat clean Whereas the comic book pages are, you know, they just have to look good enough to scan. I mean, I still would like them to look nice. But uh, if I have to go back in with whiteout six or seven times, I don't feel uh, too bad about it. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking what's going on with him gonna be nice okay so now some decisions and you know I'm I guess you can kind of see what's going on here sorry I don't have a super fancy setup right now for camera angles and whatnot I don't know why I'm apologizing This is also the stage where I like to uh, put some funk on it, put some, you know, start. If I want something to be a little more squarey or a little bit aligned to be a little sharper, and I think all those little touches make a big difference. Uh, at least they do in my enjoyment of doing it, so. I've also watched some, uh, you know, videos of people working that have their their paper like taped down to their table, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you draw without moving the paper all over the place? I just, I mean, maybe if you're working on something super large scale, you would move around it, but I don't know how people can work over um, without moving the paper around. It's it's like super key.
sorry. Can I just leave it in there? There's a lot of holding your breath when you're inking. <laughs> For me. brushes run kind of wet so I'm always trying to watch my hands inevitably I will drag my hand through the ink here you'll probably witness it call that a happy accident though when that's uh Maybe it gives you an idea, <laughs> something you can change. I'm also guilty of throwing, uh, or you know, stopping a commission when it's like 70% done. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I just, for some reason, I can't get it to feel done. And so there's some that I've redrawn multiple times. I have this uh, Deadpool, <laughs> I should show you guys, I have this Deadpool over here that I've drawn three times. So I drew it one time and then I didn't like it so I kind of traced it. I didn't like the inking so I traced it and redid it and that was this one. And then as I was preparing to, sh to uh, get the some orders shipped out, I, I cut it <laughs> with an X-Acto knife right down the, the middle here. And uh, so I, I drew it a third time. And uh, you know it did turn out better the, the final time I, I was able to the third time you draw something you can really zero in on what works about it, but the the real tragedy of the story is that uh, whoever commissioned this uh, never never has gotten back to me about their address or where to send it or finish paying for it so it sits over there in my portfolio if anyone wants this this Deadpool drawing let me know uh, maybe we can cut a deal here. But yeah, it was a uh, it was a tragic situation with that one. I haven't had a ton of those type of stories though, commission horror stories. Usually people are super cool and fun to work with. Um, it's become one of, my, one of the more fun things I get to do. I was scared of it uh, originally. I just was always nervous that I, that I wouldn't do something that felt like it was worth their money, you know? And that had a lot to do with just, you know, as an artist at different points in time, you're gonna have some questioning about the value of your work, but, um, now it's you know once I started doing them and saw how fun it was and how much people enjoyed it, it became sort of a a fun thing to do.
was talking to some artist friends and uh, I was just talking about I was asking them how they ink and uh, they're like what do you mean just start at the top left and work your way down and I'm like oh, okay I'm, I'm kind of all over the place and so, some other people are too but I I don't know man it's like uh, to stay engaged I need to move it around I need to move around with it Thanks for watching, guys. I see that a few people have showed up. I appreciate it. I, um, trying to get a little more consistent on these. I'm, e I'm even skipping a different live stream <laughs> that I wanted to watch because I was like, oh, I think I want to work right now and do this. But uh, I'm not even going to mention it because you guys are all leaving to watch it. <laughs> no, Felix. Uh, Felix has Trad on tonight, and Trad is one of my favorites. But um, I know I'm not gonna go win any bids for his work, or uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't really go on the chats at all. So I can just watch it maybe tomorrow while I'm working. But yeah, he'll also be at Heroes Con, I think. I'd like to say hi to him there. I'll be at Heroes Con as well if anybody's going to that. Check it out. North Carolina. My first time doing the show. Excited. I've heard good things. So. I don't know. He-Man was... I had some of the He-Man toys when I was like elementary school, I think. But I don't remember the show very well. You know, like I can think back and remember episodes of G.I. Joe or whatever, but uh, not so much with He-Man. So I imagine the plots in the original show maybe weren't uh, super strong. But correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, I 
we're just going hmm. we're going just clean superhero style on these I think I don't think I'm gonna go too dirty no something about he-man feels kind of clean to me um, even though it's like skeleton dudes and like monsters and stuff This has been a fun one though. These characters are just uh, so wild and fun to draw. Like a, a boring character design is not a fun thing to do, you know. Like there's some some costumes and characters that are just uh, so much fun. I'd say He-Man characters are on that spectrum for sure. giant fist guy that's uh hilarious <laughs> he's just got a big old fist that's so great the rawness of these uh concepts it's just like let's have a guy with a big fist it's like what's he do he punches things oh hey what's up don i don't know if i missed your comment earlier i'm still getting used to seeing the chats here so going there Ichthy, good to see you yes we got some he-man going here
That's right, the beefy boys, yes. <laughs> Somehow I've... That's me. I do the, the beefy boys. I'm trying to... You know, I got some... Uh, Beefy ladies too. Hopefully, coming in the some of the new stuff. I uh, I am uh, equal opportunity beefer. So, but yeah, man, this is the this is like um, it's not just about comics, you know. Like drawing um, people that are enhanced physiques is like something we've been doing since the dawn of art, you know, like look at old sculptures and, and old drawings and paintings and you know there's something about the human figure in an exaggerated form that is uh it's way beyond just a comics thing it is a um it is a human thing and everybody has some sort of emotions about it and some sort of attraction to it or um fear whatever it is but something with the physique is is very human and the exaggeration of it It's too bad I can't play music on here. I'd have to play some uh, some Megadeth for for Don, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately I can't uh, I can't risk getting the videos taken down by playing copyrighted music. Sort of like uh, still trying to figure out this how I want to use these feathers, like this feathering effect. I go back and forth on it. hot rods are <laughs> making an appearance here on the audio. A lot of hot riding around my neighborhood. If you hear that or gunshots, just uh, don't worry. Everything's okay. Chicago. Chippendale's equivalent. Sure, yeah, man. You know, back when I used to dance for uh, for Chippendales, it was good money. You know, much better money than comics.
like if you're thinking about either doing comics or dancing for Chippendales, anybody out there, you know, just just dance for Chippendales instead. Good thing there's no gunfire or anything in, in the drawing because I would be doing sound effects right now, um, like in my <laughs> like in my voice. <laughs> I wanted to get the face cam up because I'm sure I make the faces too when I'm drawing the things, just like subconsciously. Still just uh, avoid that leg for now. Not sure about him yet. <clears throat> I'll get him, I'll get him later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just add smoke, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's not a bad idea, Don. I would say that's generally where I'm gonna go. <laughs> smoke, 
you know, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's there's people who hide their feet with smoke and people who hide their feet with hills. <laughs> That's the only two kinds of people. There will be smoke, don't worry. There's always smoke. <clears throat> I feel like I was, uh, it was a documentary about, <clears throat> I think it was Blade Runner. And somebody was talking about how Ridley Scott always has smoke on the set because of the way it messes with the light and stuff. And that's kind of a hallmark of his style. And somebody was like walking in one day and he was smoking a cigar and there's smoke all over the set. And they're like, is there smoke in your house, Ridley? <laughs> was, uh, I guess... I have the same addiction as Ridley Scott. Smoke makes everything look cooler, man. It just does. We'll be wrapping up shortly. We have a couple. I'll give a couple little sneak peek things here at the end, but um, yeah, I'll be wrapping up shortly. I have some other family duties to attend to before the evening is gone. But the exciting news over here for me is that uh, we are f finalizing all of the solicitation stuff for the schlub. So um, The Schlub is the new book I'm working on right now. Well, not right now. Right now I'm drawing He-Man. But uh, <laughs> I am in general working on a book called The Schlub, written by Ryan Stegman and Kenny Porter, with art by me and colors by the mighty Mike Spicer. So very excited that the solicitation info is coming together, and I actually need to write a blurb for that later today too. Um, and so hopefully, maybe, the next time I get on here, I will be able to share some of that information, hopefully, because um, I cannot uh, cannot wait to, to share all that stuff. But yeah, hopefully also Tuesdays will continue to be a viable option for me. So if you're ever hanging out on Tuesday, you know, you finished whatever you're doing for the night, maybe wrapping up dinner or maybe maybe you're eating dinner, come hang out and draw with me or, or say hi. Um, it's only a community if we're all here with each other, so... <laughs> It's fun. All right. To be continued, look for this one popping up on my Instagram sometime in the next few days, I'm hoping. Um, have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next Tuesday with me, Tyrell.